So these 10 movies might make you sick, puke, or just ask yourself, what the actual fuck? Here are my recommendations for 10 really twisted, but interesting movies I think is worth the watch. Warning, spoiler alert. Hey, Felix, is everything okay? So this awkward guy, Oliver, wiggles his way into this rich kid's inner circle. He's invited to their home at Saltburn, where he eventually brings the entire house down. This movie has a very overlapping theme with the 1999 classic, The Talented Mr. Ripley. But I'm not going into that wormhole. There's a lot of content with deep dives into Saltburn already. You can go watch those. This movie is incredibly strange. You can't quite tell what the heck is going on until well over an hour into the movie. However, however, you can't stop looking. Come to salt them. Yes. Why? You seem annoyed about something. Not annoyed about anything. Outside of some of the story flaws and the blah ending, you can expect some scenes to make you really throw up in your mouth. From drinking bath water to leaking menstrual blood. Yeah, your skin will definitely curl. Except you get down like that, and in that case, you can catch this movie now on Amazon Prime. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, I told you it wasn't a minger. Oh, but darling, you're kind about everyone. You can't be trusted. I don't think I'll ever go home again. This is an end of the world thriller that makes you really think to yourself, who's really in control? This family takes an impromptu vacation out of the city to leave the world behind. They must have picked the best possible day to leave the city because the whole apocalypse happens once they're out of the city. As they wind down for the night, the owner of the house and his daughter shows up at their front door all of a sudden. This movie does a great job of breaking down the ease of which empires fall. One thing to note while watching this movie is that there are so many nuggets and subtle hints in this movie that it's virtually impossible to grasp all of it in one sitting. Now when you get to the end of this movie, before you get upset, this movie intentionally ends abruptly and leaves a lot of room to let your imagination wander. You can catch this on Netflix. Just have your tinfoil hat ready. Particular that terrified my client the most. A simple three-stage maneuver that could topple a country's government from within. This is a ride of a movie. This movie morbidly explores the dangers of dating face to face in our society today. In fact, after watching this movie, you might want to keep swiping on Tinder instead of meeting people in person. I'm gonna tell you, but you're gonna freak out. Can you take these off? Can't Steve. do that. So this girl Molly meets a guy who happens to be a doctor in the Oswald grocery store. And for some odd reason, she decides over the next couple of days to take a weekend trip with him. I mean, why wouldn't she, right? When they finally get to the destination, she's exhausted from the long drive and passes out. But when she wakes up, she finds out that her doctor is less house and more Hannibal. No, no, this isn't happening. Yeah, it's happening. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Yes, it is. I'm going to tell you now. This is a Hulu original. I'm gonna sell you meat. People pay me a lot of money for it. What are you doing? I'm taking your ass. Don't leave me here with my restless heart. Please. I'm cauterizing your ass so you won't be a bloody mess. Please stop. So if there's a movie that embodies its name, this is the one. This movie has a lot going on, and even that's an understatement. In a fall from another universe, I'm here because we need your help. Very busy today, uh, no time to help you. The movie follows a lady named Evelyn, who owns a neighborhood laundromat. She's getting audited by the IRS and has to go to the IRS building with some supporting documents before she loses everything. Now, it's when she gets to this IRS building, she comes face to face with the multiverse. While jumping through different realities, she confronts her family, friends, and even herself. In fact, she finds out that this version of herself is the least fulfilled in all of the multiverse. Your self-worth rests 
Shut up, Deirdre. No one likes you. This movie is packed with a lot of symbolisms from googly eyes to having hot dogs for hands or even the everything bagel theory, whatever that means. But as goofy as all of those things sounds, there's a lot of lessons to pull out of this movie if you actually watch it with an open mind. It's a very silly movie with serious undertones if you pay close attention because this movie helps you put things into perspective of how nothing really matters. This recently got added to Netflix, so go let your mind wander. The government is trying to control us through grapefruit and fried chicken. You went outside and you pulled a 50 cent. If you like conspiracies, you're definitely gonna love this one. The movie follows a drug dealer, Fontaine, who gets killed every day, but somehow wakes up the next morning with no recollection of what happened the night before. Wow. <laughs> you know, I know this motherfucker for years. I ain't never seen him laugh. Not once. <laughs> I've never seen him laugh. <laughs> I've never seen you laugh. <laughs> With help from a fellow pimp named Charles and his colleague, Yo-Yo, they uncovered that Fontaine had been cloned. Unfortunately for them, this movie isn't called They Cloned Fontaine because after dismantling the secret cabal cloning folks in the hood, they hadn't even scratched the surface. Yo, y'all remember when Netflix didn't have anything to watch and the good movies had to be shipped to you on DVD? This one's on Netflix and Netflix is really on a roll right now. Ain't that you, Tyrone? This is one of the few foreign movies on this list that you probably slept on. So the poor Kim family finagles their way in landing four jobs with this rich Park family by pretending to be professional associates, all the while giving each other stellar recommendations. Similar to the movie Us, this movie touches on the dichotomy between the people at the top, in this case the rich, and the folks at the bottom, the poor. This movie emphasizes on the ever-looming line between classes, and if you happen to be on the wrong side of that line, you just don't count. But the unique thing about this movie is that the two worlds that you're talking about is just not about the rich and the poor. It includes the poor and the poorer. <laughs> After watching this movie, I had to research the meaning of parasite. The definition makes you question, who released the parasite in this movie? This is available on Max, or you can rent it on YouTube or any other streaming platforms. So the United States government, aka us, had a secret government project where Americans had clones created in their likeness who were made to live in tunnels and feed off raw rabbits. These doubles shared a soul with the originals that lived on the surface, so they had to mirror everything that they did. There's a family in our driveway. Now I thought I already done told y'all to get off my property, okay? The project was eventually abandoned, leaving the tethered doubles to fend for themselves. So one of these doubles eventually mobilizes the rest of them into an uprising all over the country, or what you might call an insurrection today, and they went on attacking all the double gangers on the surface. This movie is truly a mindfuck with plot twists on plot twists on plot twists. Listen, the government is always up to something, and I just hope this isn't one of them. You can watch this on Hulu if you have a subscription, or you can rent it on other platforms. Imagine being locked up in a 333 floor structure with two prisoners on each floor. A huge hole in the middle where a floating slab gradually descends to each level, giving an image at the top of the food chain a chance to get fat before descending to the bottom of the food chain for others to eat the leftovers. Now if you did the math here, you would realize that this is not a place you want to visit ever.
There's intentionally no heroes or villains in this movie. It's really just a mirror of society. Exploring capitalism, socialism, and everything in between. While watching this, you realize how blind you are to the true victims in society because most times we're able to see past our own BS to see our own privileges. This movie is currently streaming on Netflix. Hello. Hey there. Is this Boots? Who's this? Who speaks? Sorry to bother you. Uh, my name is Dexter Thomas from Vice News, and I was wondering if you had a little bit of time to talk about your movie. I was just about to take a shit. <laughs> hey, young blood, let me give you a tip. Use your white voice. Man, I ain't got no white voice. Oh, come on, you know what I mean. So what's your elevator pitch for this movie? This is an absurdist dark comedy with magical realism and science fiction. Inspired by the world of telemarketing. Personally, I would say this is arguably one of the weirdest movies that came out in 2018. It tells the story of Cassius Green, a code-switching telemarketer who sacrifices his moral identity, relationships, and everything in between to get his piece of the pie. God made this land for all of us. Greedy people like you want to hog it to yourself and your family. And Me and my family? Yeah. Cassius, I'm your f***ing uncle. White boys, thank this young blood. Hey, Mr. Kramer. After lying to get his one job, which the company really didn't care, he advances up the ladder in the company and meets his new mentor. Careful how you pick your mentors because this mentor he meets on the final floor is the motivation he needs to strip his original biography and becomes his persona full time. In fact, he finds that when he's around his new colleagues at the top floor, he's only allowed to use his persona. I can go on and on about this movie and how it gets really weird towards the end, but as crazy as it is, just know it has a deeper meaning to it and is very relatable to virtually anyone. This movie is why everyone was saying Easy was in a sunken place when he initially married Kim. Those were the good old days when I tried to convince myself that I understood hey, him. Hang on. Chris, <sighs> Chris, I want to introduce you uh, to some friends. Too many names to remember, but hi. <laughs> Do you find the being African American as more advantage or disadvantage? in the modern world. <laughs> so this white girl Rose finesses her black boyfriend Chris to come spend time with her family over the weekend. So after he experienced a bunch of sketchy encounters with her family and family friends, he tries to convince his girlfriend to cut the trip short and leave with him. Unfortunately for him, while he was talking to his girlfriend about how he felt uncomfortable, he was being auctioned to one of her family friends. I find that the African American experience for me has been for the most part, very good. When you go into the city, I've just had no interest. The chores have become my sanctuary. I really hate how long it took him to realize that his girlfriend was in on it too. This is Jordan Peele's directorial debut. It's hard to think that the same Jordan Peele from Kim Peele was behind all of this. It's available on Prime. You know, I think your mom got in my head, right? I think she got in my head. Yeah, and it, and it worked, no, I thought. No, it did not. It did work. She got in my head, and now I'm thinking all this fucked up shit that I don't want to think about. I just need to go. Thanks for watching. Let me know what movie should make the next WTF list in the comment section. Click here for more top 10 videos. Catch you on the next one. Peace.